I'm excited about doing a full review of the Baby Zen Yo-Yo 2, the 0 Plus, the 6 Plus, and talking all about the different ways that you can use your Baby Zen Yo-Yo 2. But despite the fact that I've done lots of reviews of this product, I've never done it in this way, and here's why. I've been working with lots of customers in our stores and virtually, and something that is just has really shifted in buying strollers is the concept of buying a Baby Zen Yo-Yo, a lightweight, quote unquote travel stroller from birth. So here's the concept. So a lot of people think that they should get like this fully functioning big giant stroller from the beginning. But the reality is that I might recommend that you get a Baby Zen Yo-Yo with the Zero Plus configuration from the beginning. And this is the product that you will literally walk out of the hospital with because you can use it with an infant car seat. You can see with this wonderful Zero Plus pack, you can have the baby lie perfectly flat from newborn. And then as the child gets bigger, you turn it into a six plus variety, which I'll show you in a couple minutes, and you have this as an amazing travel stroller. So, oh, and if you don't know me, I'm Ellie from Magic Beans Videos. I review and compare baby gear on YouTube. We have the most comprehensive reviews on all of YouTube, so definitely don't forget to subscribe to Magic Beans Videos, because we publish videos every week, and I'm going to help you figure out what stroller to get, like maybe the baby's and yo-yo. So, like I said, this is the yo-yo in the zero plus pack variety. And what you see here is there has this nice sort of like bunting cocoon that you have attached to it. Um, if you're wondering what color this is, this is the gorgeous new for 2023 stone gray color. In the winter, or if you're like in cooler climates, what you'll do is you'll add this nice sort of like warm, you can see the sort of like, um, sort of like fuzzy, um, warm, um, texture to the back of this product, and then it's just uh, Velcro that away. But in the meantime, what you'll do is you have this nice soft pack, but not too soft because the baby's neck, neck muscles are developing and you can have your baby lie flat. We want our babies lying perfectly flat when they are first born and having your baby lying in this flat situation is just a great way to take around your baby versus having your baby will go around in an infant car seat sort of all day long. Um, there is a little sort of like a sun visor here, which you can pop in and out, um, little newborn head support. Really, it's so comfortable for baby and a really nice buckle to keep them safe and secure in the newborn pack. But the cool thing is that if you want to go back and forth from newborn to infant car seat, you can do that. Let me show you how to do it. So let me show you how to attach the infant car seat adapters and how to attach a car seat. I'm going to use the new pillow light. Um, you may have the Nudipip Light RX or Nudipip RX. All of those seats work great with the yo-yo. So you have these little adapters here. And let me just show you how to, I'll just put the brake on, how to put them on. So it's, it can be a little tricky. Oh, now it slides on. And you'll do the same thing on the other side. Just go to the bottom and slide it up. Okay. You only have to do that once. You can keep these on forever. It's not a big deal. Now, you have these two pieces. Now, the best thing to do is, so you can see they attach right to the bottom here. But the best thing to do is to take these and actually attach them to the car seat. In the studio, I have a Nuna Pippa Light, so I'll use that as an example. What you do is you unsnap here, unsnap here. And then what you wanna do is you also wanna remove this. You just like flip this up, flip this down, cool. So this is nice and flat, cool, nice and flat position. And now what you can do is take your infant car seat and click it right on. Now, the cool thing is that you saw like I had to like click, click, you don't. All you have to do is push these buttons and keep these parts of the adapter attached to the infant car seat. And you can even put this right into the base. It's perfectly safe to do so. With having these things sort of like flapping around the sides, it has no impact on safety whatsoever. But the cool thing is, now that these are attached to your Pippa, so all you have to do is like line it up right here and you click just like that. And it clicks also on this side, just like that. So it's right on and now you can have your, go back and forth from using the infant car seat to the Zero Plus pack um, to remove the infant car seat from the adapters eventually. Again, what you wanna do is just push right here and push right here to remove, but you just push this button right here 
Let me just remove that. It's so easy. Let's remove that. And remove that. Nice. So eventually, you'll want to do is what you'll want to do is change this from the zero plus to the six plus pack. Um, and let me just quickly do that for you. So again, you're only going to do this once. The reality is you're only going to put the adapters on once. You're only, or maybe you have multiple children, you'll do this, but this is not something you do every day, but it is just something that you will eventually do. So what you have to do is, it's very simple. There's these two Velcro, sort of Velcro tabs. You just unvelcro, unvelcro right here, unclip, unclip right here, unclip. Unclip right here, and then what you just you'll just pull out the whole thing, and now you are back to just the basic frame. Again, you may want to use this with that Pippa just as a frame. I mean, I would. If this for me, I might do that. Um, if you don't want to have the zero plus, and just use the frame with no seat and click your infant car seat in and out, especially if you have another stroller with a bassinet, and this is really just for travel, that is a great thing to do. Um, it's also super, super light and easy to fold in this position. So what you do is you just fold this underneath like this, fold it down, and you can see it's like super, super small. So this is just like a really nice small thing. I'll, I'll fold this again a little bit later in the video, but that is uh, just something that you want to consider just using this just as a normal travel frame. So when you go from the zero plus to the six plus, what you want to do is you want to remove this sort of like the plastic backing. And there's a little white tab here. If you have an older yo-yo, it may be red. Just pull that out, pull that out, slip this out, okay? And now you'll put it back onto the frame by, again, lining it up and pushing in this little white tab, boom, click, and you're back, back in business. So now you're gonna set it up for the six plus pack. Here is the six plus seat and you'll see back here on the back there is a pocket right here there's a pocket 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 and you just slide the seat onto the pocket now this is attached to the back of the frame you clip right here clip right here and then take this little Velcro piece, Velcro around, Velcro, Velcro. Velcro, Velcro. Are you in your living room right now putting together your yo-yo with me? Are we spending time together? How's parenting going? Have you had a baby yet? I hope it's going great. Okay, this is attached up here. Just take this through, pop it through. Velcro, send this around. There's a little buckle here. I don't think the buckle is the wrong word. It's a little, I don't know, little facet or what have you to put it through. Velcro there. Right, nice and secure. Put this through here. Nice, cool. So this is the seat. Now we have to add a color pack. So what happens is You'll have these wires for the canopy. Here is the color pack. Let's see what's in the color pack. It's the stone color again. I'm excited about the stone color. It's like, it's like a silver. It's kind of like has a silver energy to it if you like that type of a color. There it goes. There are little um, Velcro pieces on the back and Velcro pieces to match up over here. And then what you'll do is you'll unbuckle this really nice chunky buckle. I really like the buckle. It's like weird to like buckles, but it really is like after, as you're researching baby gear, take a look at the buckle because the, the buckle, the wheels, those are like the signs that you're going to get some that's quality that's built to last. And I definitely feel like this is one of those things. So you'll take the shoulder straps, pop it through one of these slits. I chose the second slit because it's, I just did and put this one here too. put this through do 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 great. Pull that through done. Pull that through. Great, that's in. And then what you'll do is you'll take the little, um, the, the actual buckle, put that through. And now what you're gonna do is you are, and these pieces are on the side, they come up on the side, great. Cool, and now what you'll do is there's a little sort of like toggly thing on the bottom. What you'll do is you'll reach underneath 
need to like toggle it. There's a little catch right underneath. The nice thing is if you live in the greater Boston area, we'll assemble the strollers for you free. So just so you know, you don't have to do this. Um, like bring in pieces of yo-yo and like zero plus, move to six plus, please do this for us. We're happy to help you. That's what you do. Um, so, um, so that is the seat. Look how the nice that seat pack looks on the seat, but where is the canopy? Again, here are the canopies I showed you before. It says six plus. So these are the six plus wires. There is a small one and a big one on the back here. Well, there's a pocket on the back of the canopy. People love this. Our e-commerce e manager has a yo-yo um, and she with her child and she thinks that that little pocket on the back of the canopy is one of the coolest, uh, one of the best features. It's like a surprising feature of the yo-yo. So you just put on this little wire on the back here and then you take the front one, find that loop on the front side and loop that through. Great. And it comes to the other side. Great. And now what you're going to do on the top here of the handlebar, there's a place to put a insert a wire and there's one right here as well. And that's, that will line up with the canopy perfectly. Let's put the back one on. And loop that on. And then put the front one on. There's also like another loop to go with it. So. Loop a loop. Okay, these are all looped on. Put this back on behind here. Velcro, Velcro. All right, here is the review part of the video. Um, so we now have this all set up in the six plus variety. Again, in the beautiful stone color, like I said before, you have the um, little zipper for the pocket in the back, little peekaboo window on the top. Um, a sort of a, I call this a visor to come in and out, but it's six plus and it's really easy to adjust by just pulling this little adjuster on the back. There's even a pocket here for your stuff, a mesh pocket on the back for more stuff. L lower it down to have your, uh, when your child wants to take a nap and then just pull those two loops on the side to lift it back up. To fold down the yo-yo, there are these two little buttons on the side, you fold under. And then underneath here, there's a button and a pull. Push in the button, pull the little red sort of pull, grab the little chrome handle, and this is small enough to go in the overhead compartment of an airplane, which people love. You can see that has um, this really great suspension, very, very high quality wheels, and it just folds out so small. To open it back up, you just open up the handlebar, like that, and you just open it up just like a yo-yo. Um, and it holds up to 50 pounds, so it could really last a really, really long time. So whether you're buying this from newborn, with an infant car seat, zero pack, you can get a bassinet with it, you can add a ride on board to turn this into a double stroller, you can add a connect second piece to turn this into a true double stroller, you can add a parasol, a foot muff, really any season, whether it's the summer or the winter, and so, so many different varieties. So though you may get a big stroller to go with this, this stroller can really be the one stroller that you use for many, many stages of your family's journey. Oh, so if you are interested in seeing a video of the Kinect to turn into a double stroller or any other videos of the yo-yo and some comparisons, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Watch some more videos and you can learn way more about the Baby Zen Yo-Yo 2. It's an awesome stroller and there's a really good reason why it is so popular. And I will see you at another video.